Hi, welcome to lesson seven of our phases of matter unit. Here we're going to be talking about Dalton's law of partial pressures, which is quite simply that the total pressure of a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the pressures of each gas in the mixture. Let's go in depth and see how this works. The first thing that I want you to do is I want you to think about the pressure of a particular sample of a gas and what it depends upon. It's gonna depend upon three things. It's gonna depend upon its temperature, it's gonna depend upon its volume, and it's going to depend upon the number of particles. So what happens if we have two different samples of two different gases, each exerting their own pressures, and we combine them together, keeping the temperature constant? What's going to happen is that those two pressures are going to combine because we've now combined the number of particles in each of those samples. And that's what Dalton's law of partial pressures really tells us. Mathematically, we can express Dalton's law of partial pressures as follows. For any gas at constant temperature and volume, the total pressure is going to be equal to the pressure of the first gas, plus the pressure of the second gas, plus the pressure of every other gas in the mixture. This formula is given to you on your honors reference tables, and you should be able to use it in order to solve problems. Let's take a look at a couple of different problems and see how we can apply Dalton's law of partial pressures. The question is, what is the total pressure of a mixture of oxygen gas, nitrogen gas, and gaseous ammonia if the pressure of the oxygen gas is 20 kilopascals, the nitrogen is 60 kilopascals, and the ammonia is 15 kilopascals? Pause the video, take a moment, and see if you can use Dalton's law of partial pressures to solve this. And then when you're ready, let's move on. So Dalton's law of partial pressures tells us that the total pressure is going to be equal to the sum of each of the individual pressures. Using that, we can solve this problem very easily. The total pressure is going to be equal to 20 kilopascals, the pressure of the oxygen, plus 60 kilopascals, the pressure of the nitrogen, plus 15 kilopascals, the pressure of the ammonia. We just add those up, and we'll get a final answer of 95 kilopascals for our total pressure. This is a pretty easy Dalton's Law problem. Let's go in and look at a more complicated version. This question is on page 11 of our Unit 3 packet. A sample of ammonia is decomposed into its component elements. If the pressure of the nitrogen gas produced is 40 kilopascals, what is the pressure of the hydrogen gas? Pause the video, see if you can solve this one, and when you're ready, let's go through the solution. In order to solve this, we need to think back to Avogadro's hypothesis and understand that in ammonia, the relationship of nitrogen to hydrogen is a one to three relationship. If that's the case, when we decompose this substance, we're going to have three times as much hydrogen as we do nitrogen. By using that understanding, we can then multiply the pressure of the nitrogen that's given to us in the problem by three in order to figure out the pressure of the hydrogen, which will wind up being three times 40 kilopascals, or 120 kilopascals, as the expected pressure of the hydrogen gas. Does this make sense? If it doesn't, take a moment and write down any questions that you have before we wrap up. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure that you can do the following here at the end. Make sure that you can explain Dalton's law of partial pressures at both the macro and atomic levels of organization. Also make sure that you can use Dalton's law of partial pressures to solve problems involving the pressure of a mixture of gases. If you can do those two things, you're doing great. If not, take a moment, write down any questions that you have, and you can always leave them in the comments below the video or get in touch with me through the information in the info field. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.